Hey guys, it's me again, Brian MUA, and together with Mirror on Makeup, I'm going to be showing you how to install your bald cap. So, let's get started. So first things first, we are going to make sure that we flatten the hair under the bald cap, so I'm going to do that by using hair gel and water. So now that my hair is slicked back, I'm just going to make sure that it's fully dry before I put on my bald cap, so I'm just going to use a blow dryer. So now I'm just using a 70% alcohol on a cotton pad to get rid of excess oil on my face and neck so that when we use our spirit gum, it will stick on properly. Now once you fit the bald cap, you just need to make sure that you cover the ears as well because we are going to draw a pattern where we are going to cut it just like so. Now you can go ahead and cut this um, on your head if you wanted to, but I prefer cutting it off my head when I'm doing it on myself. Now that's nicely cut, we are going to use our spirit gum to attach our bald cap. So I'm just going to apply that on my forehead, about an inch um, on your forehead, and just make sure the spirit gum is tacky before you stick your bald cap on. Now before I attach the sides, I like to attach the back first, so I make sure that I tilt my head down and then stretch the bald cap and that's when I know that it's not going to wrinkle when I apply it on my neck. Now that the back is done, you can now go ahead and do the sides. Now once everything is glued down, you can now go ahead and grab a precise scissors. So you just need to make sure to trim close to where you glued it down, just to make sure there's no flyaways. And now we are going to use the Mayron Liquid Latex. You can actually dilute this with water. So I basically just texturize the sponge so that when you apply the latex on the edges, it is skin-like finish when you start stippling. So now I'm just using the collar set powder and the powder puff to set everything to make sure there's no stickiness going on on our bald cap. So painting time! I'm just using the medium color, the one in the middle on this one, using a damp sponge. And I'm applying that paint all over my bald cap. And a good trick on this one actually is using a face mirror if you want to paint the back of your head. So. If that is it you guys thank you so much for tuning in and this is my uncle fester look and i hope you guys enjoy bye